What's up everybody, it's your boy Jay with Brother Cousins Toy Reviews and here is my collection tour for 2022 December. We got a lot of stuff to cover so let's get right to it. Okay guys, and here we are. Here's the very first case we have in the collection right here. And yes, this is a Home Depot case that is made by yours truly. Um, the sit on top of the Detoffs. And right here we have Falcon, Vision, and of course, Wanda Maximoff, Scarlet Witch from Civil War. And all of these look great real really like these guys now this vision is from age of ultron which happens to be the only age of ultron figure that i have in my collection um that's just how it is that's just what it is but yes these guys look great they look good i love the three of them together Next up in the very first Detolf in my collection, we have these guys right here. This Detolf pretty much is for the first Avengers movie. And we have here Mark 7. That's right. This is the diecast Mark 7. And we have kind of a hodgepodge uh, Avengers Endgame Captain America. This is actually the Captain America from the first Avengers movie I just retrofitted the uh head sculpt from the uh Captain America Endgame figure pretty much just modified it and just pretty much put it on that body right there so right now at this point it's no need for me to go and grab the Endgame uh 2012 cap but I will at some point I'm still waiting for a good deal and I think I'm going to get a good deal quick on them but right now there are those two uh, coming down here, of course, we got Thor and the original Incredible Hulk. That Incredible Hulk looks great. This is my favorite Hulk and yeah, the favorite, my favorite Hulk in my collection. I have three, um, but this one is the one to have in my opinion. And yeah, this one is actually signed by Stan Lee. I had him sign the box. Um, I think about a year before he had passed. So a great piece in my collection. Right here, going down, um, continuing with the uh, Avengers line, we have the original Hawkeye from Avengers and Scarlet Witch. I'm sorry, Scarlet Witch. I always get them confused. Scarlet Johansson. <laughs> Black Widow from the Avengers movie and Nick Fury. And they look awesome. Nick Fury back there looking like a pimp. Looking good, looking good, looking great. And last but not least, finishing off this original Avengers line collection, we have Loki. Oh, God, that's right, the original Loki. And we're waiting for that in game Avengers Loki to come pretty soon. Hopefully, we'll get it sooner than later. Oh my God, it's been a long time, a long damn time for that figure. And we also have Agent Coulson right here, which is actually one of my favorite figures in my collection. And I just, I just like this figure for some reason. He's just so plain and just, you know, you know, when you think of Coulson, you think of the early Avengers and everything. So he's just great. Next up, we're at the Infinity War line. And once again, I have a homemade Home Depot case that I made that sits on top of the Detolf. And right here you have this wonderful display. You have in-game Thanos and in-game Mark 85, which looks good. Where one lost, you got one that succeeded. And I just love this display right here. I think it looks awesome. Love these two figures. Pinnacle, a pinnacle in my collection. A, the pinnacle of my Marvel collection and I just think these two look great moving down to the second Detoff and moving down the end game line we have the Trinity right here the end game holy Trinity of the Marvel Cinematic Universe we got fat boy Thor <laughs> we got the clean mark 85 that's right I had to have a clean one in the collection and yes we have end game cap which I really love that figure. Still love the three of these guys right here. I think 
they're just a pinnacle once again they're the pinnacle of any marvel collection you gotta have these three figures right here in your collection just amazing 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 items moving down you got these guys right here which i like a lot you have professor hulk which professor hulk of the three hulks that i have this is this is like my third favorite <laughs> he I, I love him a lot less than the other two that i have um the one that i just showed you is my favorite so yeah you'll see the next one that i have but uh yeah professor hulk right there which professor hulk is a good figure you got rocket right there and of course you got my man don Cheadle as iron patriot love that figure that figure doesn't get enough love in my opinion it really doesn't it looks great look at that don Cheadle head sculpt let's let's get in closer on that let's take a look at that real quick look I mean, that's don Cheadle. come on man look at that that is dope that is dope and i'm gonna tell you he has the glasses on but uh this hulk uh this professor hulk sculpt ain't nothing to sneeze at either and of course we got rocket you gotta have rocket i i really wish they gave us another scope for rocket I'm tired of him just screaming at people but you know that's what he do that's what he do <laughs> moving along as soon as my camera focuses there we go moving along we got these two lovely ladies right here we got uh rescue which i really like that rescue figure love that rescue figure a lot and of course we got captain marvel love this version of captain marvel I actually had uh, a viewer reach out to me and ask me which one was my favorite this captain marvel or the one from the from the solo movie with the long hair i prefer this one um i just like the sash that she wears i like the short hair i'm really digging it and feeling it and yeah man she she look good too she 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 got some curves on her <laughs> and down here last but not least uh the last of my in game collection you got these guys right here you have hawkeye ronin had hawk the hawkeye and ronin set was just so good i had to get an extra ronin had to get an extra figure extra body to put the ronin accessories on because i just love that ronin look and in my opinion the best black widow on the market today i really love this black widow i think she looks amazing that head sculpt is amazing the sculpted hair looks good the costume is great now i know the new one is out from the solo movie and the costume in my opinion is way better than this one but i do like this head sculpt way better than the head sculpt that comes with the new one so yeah you, you know it really just you know it really depends on what you like but i like this one i think it looks good i'm not in a rush to get the solo movie uh version but i will get it at some point but right now this scratches that itch now we're at the infinity war side of the collection in the third detail in a row right here we have another custom case that i built yes you have ebony maw and of course thanos with the cosmic cube i mean the tesseract <laughs> looking amazing i love these two especially that thanos i mean there's three versions of thanos and i think this is the one to have if you can only get one this is the one you want to get because this is the one where he won <laughs> so definitely i love this one i think this one looks good ebony maw yes this is the space wizard the space wizard third party figure i forget the company that made him but um he looks good he's decent he's decent and I, my oh man second brother has like the whole dark order and um uh, i was i didn't have the space or I, I felt the need to do all that i think ebony maw is like his you know lead henchman well he was one of his henchmen that had the most personality so i went with him and i th just think these two look great together moving down the line of the infinity war collection here we go we got team i love what i loved about infinity war i love how everybody was kind of broken out into little teams so i call this team right here this is like uh team titan <laughs> and i love the spider-man you got iron spider there you got the mark 50 looking like a true badass and of course you got that's right 
Doctor Strange, and that is the original Doctor Strange. That's the Doctor Strange from the solo movie, his first solo movie. I didn't feel compelled to get the, the one that came with the Infinity War line because I'm like, hey, I got this one. But at some point, I think I will get that one. But right, right now, this looks good. I like how these look and it's awesome. Moving down, you got, what would we call this team? Team Wakanda? <laughs> so we got Team Wakanda right here, which you got Bucky Barnes, you got, uh, you got Black Widow, and you got Captain America. Not my favorite Captain America, but an essential Captain America. Cause I mean, how many times you gonna, have we gotten, how many times you gonna see Captain America with a beard? You know what I'm saying? So he looks cool and I love the outfit on him. The outfit is dope. He looks great. And I know a lot of people talk a lot of trash about this uh, Black Widow, but uh, I like this Black Widow. I think this one, I think she looks good. Let's go in for a closer look real quick. I think the likeness to Scarlett Johansson, I think this has the best likeness to Scarlett Johansson. Now I admit that hair is looking a little wild right now. Um, I could futz with it a little bit to make it look a little better. I've seen people, I think Dante, uh, from Man of High Collectibles actually put some dark streaks in her hair and that uh, brought the hair out, um, brought the hair to life even more and made it look good. But I, I really like how this looks. I think she looks awesome. I think she's one of the best Black Widow figures in my opinion. Moving on down. What team would this be? This is uh, sp Team Space. <laughs> uh, but actually, uh, War Machine belongs with uh, uh, with Team Wakanda. But hey, you know, it is what it is. But right here, as you can see, we got, uh, we got uh, War Machine. We got Thor, which I think this is everybody's favorite Thor right here. This Thor, this look right here is awesome. And of course we got Teenage Group looking cool as hell. And I know y'all wondering, hey, where, where's, where's Rocket? Well, you'll see where Rocket is in a little bit. And last but not least, kind of breaks the whole uh, Infinity War vibe right here, but I had to put him somewhere. So you got Ant-Man, and wasp and yes that's the original ant-man because i was not getting that silly looking one <laughs> but uh yes yeah, so i got the original ant-man right here and we got of course uh wasp hope van dime and we got my man my man john berthal as the punisher hopefully hopefully we'll get to see him back in the mcu very very soon and i love these figures they look awesome i'm so sad that's the thing when you have detail somebody has to be at the bottom and even though they're at the bottom i really enjoy looking at these figures they really look awesome and really look dope but uh that's just what it is yes and y'all know what time it is as i'm filming this i am getting ready to go see wakanda forever so yes this set means everything to me right now and I just really love it. The Black Panther collection. Yes, and this is another one of my custom cases that sit on top of my Detolfs. And I love this. I just love this collection right here. As you see, I got the Black Panther right there, T'Challa. We got Shuri. We got T'Challa in the, uh, I believe it's called DJ, the DJ custom set. Um, that comes with the uh, robes there on the throne. We got the chalk in the background. And of course, we got my man Killmonger. And I, like I said, I just love this set. It's a wonderful display. And just really, this is the crown jewel in my collection. I mean, especially being a black man. And as long as I've been collecting to get this representation, it's just amazing. It means a lot to me. So, yeah awesome okay so moving down to the fourth detolf and this is more like a a marvel hodgepodge this is like a marvel catch-all uh case that i have right here and this shelf right here yes is my spider-man shelf um my tom holland spider-man shelf right here as you can see we got the new hope we got him from the uh uh the homecoming the homecoming uh advanced suit and I love this figure. He looks awesome. 
Then of course, we got Mysterio in the back. Love that Mysterio figure, it's awesome. And going with that Mysterio figure, we got this guy right here. Yes, the advanced suit from Far From Home. And I'm sorry, the upgraded suit from Far From, from uh, Far From Home. Love that suit, love how it looks, love the black. Just a great Spider-Man suit. And of course, we got the man himself, Stan, the man Lee, sitting there doing the Spider-Man web sign. Look dope. It just looks amazing. Love all of these together. You gotta, I mean, Spider-Man, Stan Lee, they go hand in hand. Had to put, had to put Stan Lee here with everybody, with, 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 with Spider-Man there. So, you know. It looks good. Moving on down, we have a little bit of the X-Men right here. As you can see, we got Deadpool right there. And you know they just announced the whole thing with Deadpool and Wolverine doing a movie together. So I had to get Wolverine back into the collection. Yes, the Days of Future Past Wolverine. I sold this figure long time ago. Sold it to actually get the DeLorean back in 2018. But this year, after get, hearing that announcement that Wolverine is going to be in the new Deadpool movie, I decided to add him back to my collection. And I'm so happy to have this one back home. Just a wonderful figure. Just, just look at this Logan. This figure is an older figure. This is 20. This is 2015. This is a 2015 figure. And look at that sculpt. Come on, man. He looks amazing. He looks amazing. Got Deadpool back there looking goofy in awe of you. <laughs> you know how he go. And of course, we got one of my favorite figures that came out this year, Cable. I know we roasted this figure when it was when it was released. When we saw those pictures, the blogger photos, everybody talked about how skinny he was and they didn't like it. And I'm going to cancel my order and all that stuff, man. When I got this thing in hand, I was like, wow, this is an excellent figure, a fun figure. And he is just look at him. He is dope. He has a lot of presence and a lot of attitude and the three of them together. Man, this is just squad goals right here for real. All right, moving down. Whoo to a great contender of figure of the year, Miles Morales, Enter the Spider-Verse. I love this figure right here. Love this figure. Love this figure so much till I actually had to go ahead and put the backdrop in because I just think he looks good with the backdrop. And of course we got Spider-Gwen hanging upside down doing her thing. We got Peter Porker down there as well love these figures and it just looks so different adding these to my collection usually i like more of the life uh the still life life more lifelike type of figures but hey even though these are animated these are just great and last but not least we have this guy right here the mark five and yes I know a lot of people are pissed off about this figure. <laughs> this was a reissue. We got it and I'm so happy to get it. But then a couple of months later, as you all know, they opened the Shanghai store and they released a version of this that has that cool uh, torn up raceway diorama and everything that goes with it. And everybody's like, what the hell? I want that version. So I was one of those people. But of course, I'm keeping this in my collection because I do want the Mark V suit up version with Tony in the racing suit and all the armor coming over it. Got to get that one so I can show the progression from that figure to this one. It's going to be awesome. It's going to be dope. And just looking at this figure by itself, I really love it. I love the color of the red. It's like that deep red wine red, and it just looks great in contrast to that silver. Just looks excellent and really love, really love this armor a lot okay guys as you know we've seen a lot of marvel and right now these are the two last marvel cases right here um and once we do this we're going to go into the star wars section of the collection excellent collection right here as you can see we got nebula over there and she is just a great figure and just highly underrated then we have Gamora. Gamora looks like a true badass, a beautiful figure. We got my guy Drax in the background looking cool as hell. And I know a lot of people don't like really the body of Drax, but 
Drax is still a great figure in my opinion. Real fun figure as well. We got Peter Quill there, which is like just great. Love Star-Lord and my favorite, one of the best figures in my collection, Yondu. Love that Yondu back there looking at uh looking at a uh, group uh, looking at group baby group in the cage looking awesome back there and then up front you wanted to know where my guy rocket was here he is i added rocket to this collection because it just made more sense to get all the guardians together here and that's what we have one big happy family these guys look amazing here we have my final well, I don't know. Is this the final? Well, just about final uh, section of the Marvel collection right here. We got uh, Thor Ragnarok. And yes, I got my second favorite Hulk, Gladiator Hulk, which just looks like a true badass. And of course, we have the beautiful and sexy, sexy Hela. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Love this figure. She is amazing and just beautiful and just just dastardly evil. Just love her. And of course, we got my man, Thor, the gladiator Thor, looking cool as hell. And here we are at the fifth Detoff and the start of the Star Wars collection. And yes, this Star Wars collection that I have is amazing. I love these characters and they just looks awesome. Let's first start with this first shelf right here. Y'all already know what it is. This is the legendary two pack. Tarkin Invader, man, I'ma tell you, they cost me a lot of damn money. <laughs> they cost me a lot of damn money. Um, I got these. Um, I got this set last year for my birthday. Well, the begin. Well, this year for my birthday. Earlier this year for my birthday, and uh, yeah, it cost me about I think twelve hundred bucks. Yeah, yeah, twelve. Yeah, yeah. I had to sell a couple of figures. I had to call in a couple of favors and here they are. Yup. And of course you see Leia right here. New Hope Leia. I love that Leia. Now I actually got that when it released way back in the day. So, you know, I didn't have to spend a lot of big bucks on her, but, um, got her back in the day, had her in my collection. It just makes sense to have these three together and they look awesome. All right, moving down another pricey pricey set right here these two stormtrooper luke and han yes had to get these into had to add these to the collection there they were featured on good morning grails and they were just awesome and i actually bought them together and i bought them together for a thousand bucks which when you break it down to the day standards that was a good deal it was a good deal it came with everything they were complete and they look awesome and let's just get a closer look of these guys yeah i know a lot, that luke head sculpt yeah it, it's it's showing its age a little bit but it still looks amazing this guy right here though man i know my camera's a little dark right now in this area of the collection but yeah man love this figure love this guy han is amazing who knows when we're going to get another han but that smirk is just everything <laughs> it just looks awesome he is awesome just a great figure so happy to have this one in my collection he is awesome moving on down another figure of the year contender this guy right here snow speeder luke love this guy love this guy I'm actually looking to get uh, Yoda in the collection. I'm going to have Yoda paired up with, with these guys right here um, when that when that comes in. At some point, I'll get a Yoda. And you'll see it on Good Morning Grails and all that good stuff. Um, this R2 right here is the Spiro R2-D2. So it's not a Hot Toys R2-D2. But hey, it does the job. It looks good. So there he is. And last but not least in this detail, and guys, I'm so sorry about the wires. I know the wires are ugly back there. I apologize. Uh, you know, I got a kid now and it's just hard getting back there trying to, you know, collect up all these wires and everything. But at some point I will. But yeah, we have this collection right here. That's right. We have Princess Leia and, and, uh, and Wicked. And I love this set. This is just dope. I love this indoor two pack. Another good two pack from Star Wars. 
and just a great addition to the collection. And here we are, the sixth Detolf in the collection and a continuation of my Star Wars collection. These guys right here, oh my God, or I should say this guy right here, the Boba Fett two pack. In my opinion, this is probably the best release that came out this year. And I really like it, I really dig it. It just has so much damn attitude. It just looks so damn good, love these figures love it i mean it's just amazing i'm just every time i look at it i it catches my eye every time i come in the room i just love the bird poop effect on the armor <laughs> and man just look at that look at that armor jesus just look at how like desecrated it is and just like all messed up and it looks like it was burnt with acid and just looks phenomenal and look at that head sculpt yes look at that head sculpt yes that is amazing that is tamora morrison and it looks awesome he is a true badass with that gaffy stick and the tuscan robes it just tells so much of a good story and it's just amazing moving on down Ugh. my old man take some time for me to get down y'all we got uh, Beskar Mando right here and I need to pose him better than that <laughs> we got Grogu right there with them we got those two together and of course we got Moff Gideon love this figure actually had the pleasure of meeting Giancarlo Esposito earlier this year he actually signed the box and even he was like wow this figure looks amazing <laughs> love this guy but um this display is going to change i'm actually going to get a dark trooper at some point and then we'll have that dark trooper standing behind him and that's going to look phenomenal I'm telling you that's going to look dope um here's some classic mando vibes right here we have the deer still mando we got grogu in the pram and of course we got ig 11 looking awesome looking cool love these figures and last but not least we have these two right here love these guys we got the armorer and yes i have heavy mando and yes he's still in wolverine's <laughs> base i had them to swap out uh the standees the stands um just because uh his stand is Wolverine needed a dynamic stand, so you know, I had to swap around a little bit. But yes, love these two figures. They look awesome in the collection. And uh, yeah, they're amazing. Okay, guys, here we are at the seventh Detolf in the end of this wall. <laughs> and yes, we have these two right here. We have Darth Maul and Qui-Gon Jinn, that Darth Maul is from episode one and that is the deluxe version. Love these two and love this pose. They look awesome. And guys, yes, I, I know the wires. The wires are, just kill it. I am so sorry. I had those tucked in way better and then I went to start filming and they just fell the hell back down. So I apologize for that. But hey, the, the content is free, y'all. Come on, give me give me a break. But uh, love these guys right here. They look awesome. And yes, if you look at right here, I have this in here with it. This is a coin that Ray Park gave me himself and signed for me. He also signed a bunch of stuff for me. And I just keep it right there with him right there. Ray Park is awesome. If you ever get the chance to meet him, do it he is awesome uh moving along right here you know had to had to had, had to have some clone wars uh love in here so right now as you can see i got rex and uh ahsoka and love these two they look awesome i did have a 501st back there standing with them i sold that 501st hey you know some other stuff came out and i needed to get it so i had to let that 501st go I, you know this is all the representation that i kind of need from the clone wars at the moment but uh yeah i love how these two look they look awesome also moving along down the line we have obi-wan and anakin 
love these two right here some of my favorite figures in my collection they look awesome they look great just look at those poses i do wish i had dark side anakin but hey i ain't paying that money for him even though dark side anakin kind of came came down in price a little bit maybe i couldn't wrap them now but i don't need to i don't need it but right now i love these two they look awesome they're great and uh they represent the collection very well and yes we have yes the, the, you know i'm not the big C, I'm not a real big sequels fan but i do love this figure i love this i love this set and i had to keep it in my collection because i got some ideas for her got some ideas definitely for her we have ray and bb8 from uh the uh from the force awakens love this set and you know what i got this set at a real good time in my life it was a real good time real good memories going to my comic book store buying this and yeah it's a real great piece and i still love it and like i said i got some big plans for her for these two okay guys here we are with the eighth detolf in my collection um you could probably hear that echo because i got the <laughs> i got the uh uh detolf doors open but yes this is the eighth detolf and yes we have here palpatine darth vader the new hope darth vader and of course we have return of the jedi luke and i just love this setup right here they look awesome they look amazing actually this uh this uh new hope Darth vader was actually bought by my wife for my birthday back in the day and it was just a great gift and she was just awesome i think she actually got it for me like a little after christmas so um i'm so glad to have this and yes this is actually this figure is signed as well the box is signed it's actually signed by david prouse so uh got that signed i think back in 2017 yeah so i've had this piece for a while uh the luke i got that when that released as well this as you guys know was good morning grails that i bought earlier this year and um i just love having a, i always wanted this palpatine and i'm just so happy and blessed that i was able to obtain it and get it love this setup right here just look they just look awesome and they just look like the pose just like you know i think me and uh layout one six scale man was talking about this at one point we love detox because we love the storytelling that we can do with inside each shelf on the detox so you know here's an example of that right there looks awesome moving along we got two of my favorite figures but i must say two of the most boring figures <laughs> in my collection but they are awesome and they are works of art we have lando calrissian the space pimp aka my own figure that's right ladies and gentlemen the space pimp yes and this looks good let's go in for a closer look just look at that sculpt man look at that look at that what a handsome guy real handsome guy and then we look at this right here what a beautiful figure and i gotta give a shout out to my guy anthony six scale mafia he helped me acquire this figure um he's working with a cell i forget the guy that sold me the figure he's a cool guy as well but i want to show you guys a little bit i didn't pay that much for this figure i think i paid like 180 for this figure and if you get close you'll see why see where her nose is chipped a little bit yeah i gotta have some paint work done to her but uh when you come this far let's do it you can barely notice it but uh yeah i was able to get a good deal on her because you know i wanted her but i didn't want to spend all that money on her but uh so the guy was like hey i'm selling this for 180 you want it you know she goes for about 400 and i was like you know what let's go ahead and do that so there we go now finishing off the imp uh the return of the uh the empire i'm sorry the the empire strikes back collection you got this set right here this wonderful set 
Let me try to get down so you guys can see it all the way. Love this set. The first Star Wars Hot Toys figures made. The Bespin Luke. And I believe this was the first Good Morning Grail. I believe this was the first Good Morning Grail. Love this Luke. I know the head scope hasn't aged that well, but for what it is, I still think it looks phenomenal. Look like that. Look at that. This is when Hot Toys really, you know, had something to prove. Just look at that. Look at that. Oh my God. You see the light effects, the lighting effects still work. They're actually supposed to, one goes on and then one goes off, but it works kind of funny. It, I, I've seen the lights change <laughs> since I've had it, but it's an older piece. But it looks good. Now, this is one of my high priced, high king grails and crown jewels in my collection. And I believe second brother would say the same thing. Okay, guys, here it is. And I'm going to say it right here. My favorite display in my collection, my favorite collection, period, in my collection, my favorite piece or pieces in my collection is right here. I love this. As you can see, we got Marty McFly back there. We got Marty uh, on the hoverboard from Back to the Future 2 back there. Love that piece. And of course, we got Marty and Einstein that was released last year. Love them. And yes, I have Griff. And that Griff is not a Hot Toys, obviously. <laughs> but I love is from NECA. But I loved it so much. I thought it, I loved the look on his face. I just had to add it in this display. But we all know the crown jewel is that DeLorean. Yes. Now this is the crown jewel of my collection. I love it. Love it. I love it. I love it. Let's get in close on it. And of course we got Doc Brown there. Let's look at it, get the angle on it. Biff, get out the way. Let's let's get let's get Biff out the way. You can see the reflection of Luke there. <laughs> Love this piece. Love the lighting effects. Got the flux capacitor flexing. And a lot of people ask, how did I can do how did I do this conversion? And I'll tell you, there's a video that I did in 2020 that'll show you how I did it. Scroll down the videos and go take a look at it. Let's go to the back right here. Look at that. Just look at that. Look at that. I just love this display. Really love. Just look at that. Just look at that. Man, that looks so cool. Love this display. Love it a lot. This shelf that's up underneath the DeLorean, continuing with my 80s collection. You guys have seen so much of these guys this year. Um, if you guys haven't, take a look at my Ghostbuster video that I did for Halloween. Um, it's a retro review. Man, I practically filmed Ghostbusters 3. <laughs> but yeah, I had a lot of fun doing that video and um, I love these. These figures are amazing. Got an excellent deal on these. Shout out to the guy that sold them to me. He was awesome. 
this uh, Slimer that you see right here is not the Slimer that originally came with the set, obviously. Um, the guy gave me um, a statue um, of Slimer that go along with them because he bought them separate. So he bought these separate. He didn't he wasn't able to get the uh, the Slimer accessory with it. Um, so, hey, I was just happy to have all four of the figures. It was even by the doctor pack with uh, with the three doctors and Splinter. I mean, Splinter and Slimer, but not uh, Winston. And I couldn't do that. I was like, look, I'll find me a, I'll, I'll find a Slimer. But I found this set and I found it for a good price. And uh, the rest is history. And they look good. Right here, you have another wonderful two pack. You got the um, Battle Damage Robocop and Alex Murphy two pack. Love these figures. And Ecto-1. Yes, Ecto-1. Ecto-1. Jesus. What is wrong with me? I got Ghostbusters on the mind. <laughs> Ed 209. Ed 209. I got a great deal on. He, oh my goodness. I got I got his Ed 209, I believe, for like 300 bucks. And yes, just amazing. Just a great piece. Love this shelf right here. Just amazing. Just, I'm so glad to have these in my collection. I never thought I would have these uh, items in my collection at all. So, it's great to have them continuing with the 80s collection or 80s slash early 90s we have this wonderful terminator collection right here and a lot of these have been on good morning grails i love them as you can see i got the tech noir uh robo uh robocop i got the tech noir terminator right there looking awesome i got the shootout terminator from terminator one then we move right into the Terminator 2 line. Yes, and we got DX-13 battle damage posed up with the CGL resistance leader, John Connor there. Yes, I stole that pose. Everybody knows I stole that pose. I stole that pose from posing with Peter, but hey man, it's a great scene in the movie. Had to do it. Yes, we got uh, another T-1000, Sarah, Sarah Connor as the T-1000, or the, T or the T-1000 as Sarah Connor, looking awesome. We got the regular T-1000 back there, um, both of them. And then we have this Kit Bash uh, Terminator that I'm actually selling right here. I'm actually selling this guy. So if anybody's interested, let me know. So I'll be selling them, but not with that head sculpt. So. Uh, that head sculpt actually goes with uh, with the DX-13. At some point, I'll show the original head sculpt that comes with this figure, and I'll put them up for sale. I'll probably put them in a BST group or something like that. But uh, yes, that is the Terminator collection right there. And you guys know I'm a big Terminator fan, so yeah. Right here, you got, that's right, the Nike mag. One to one, one to one scale. Um, these are knockoffs. I'm just going to say it like, like that. <laughs> they're knockoffs, but they really, really good knockoff. Well, they're not knockoffs. Let's just call them replicas. Um, they're dope. They're based off the 2011 release. And if I could just, if you could just indulge me for one moment. They actually light up as well. Very awesome very very awesome shoe very awesome awesome shoe um and yeah as i was saying they were based off the 2011 models um that went up for charity if you want these the 2011 models they still go for like huh, 20 to 30 grand um i did not pay that for these not at all i did not pay that for these at all i only paid the probably paid not even gonna tell you what i paid not even gonna tell you what i paid Let's just say it was under a thousand. Um, you just got to know where to go to get them. Um, I've worn them a couple of times, just in pictures and stuff like that, just a stunt. But uh, I don't plan on like ever wearing these outside or anything like that. No, they don't auto lace, but they do have pairs that do. Um, these are mainly just for the look and the feel. Um, let's give you another look from the front. Yep, they are replicas. And uh, they look good. I really like them. I really uh, like them a lot. Um, 
you know, me being a sneakerhead and all, it's like, I had to have those in the collection. And they just, you know, they go with the rest of the Back to the Future stuff. So there you go. Moving along here. Um, this was on Good Morning Grails. And um, as you guys know, this is old stinky right here because um, I bought them from a seller. Um, incomplete. It was around the time Prey came out. And I was like, damn, I just got to get a Predator in my collection. And uh, I got them for about maybe 250 for them. Um, not much for them. Um, the box was all beat up and everything. And a couple of the accessories were missing. But uh, the guy didn't tell me that it stunk. Because apparently it was in a house that had a flood in the basement. So you can just, it smells like damaged water and just, whoa just he smells he smells the way you think a predator would smell so yeah you got to be careful when you buy used figures on ebay man i tell you you really do also with these two right here now you guys know i've had problems with these guys especially uh bill um bill's arm tore up um just completely ripped um and these are the blitzway bill and ted and i was very upset because that never happened with me with any other figure that i own luckily my guy Anthony Six Scale Mafia had an extra body around for Bill. So he gave me gave me an extra body for Bill, swapped the body, and there it is. I got it, I got them back intact and they look great. Um, love these guys. Um, you guys knew also I made uh kind of crudely made uh the phone booth for them. Um it's not being displayed right now, just for the sake of room, but um it's cool. And right here. I am a big Chucky fan. I love Chucky. And this is a one-to-one -one scale Chucky based off his look in Seed of Chucky. And this is by Trick or Treat Studios. And I think it looks good. Like the details on this guy. It's just amazing. Like the staples that's in his forehead. Look, look, look at that look in his eye. Look at that evil bastard. Look at him. I think where it gets where you see the teeth, the teeth look kind of, you know, they look kind of phony, but he is a doll. So, but everything else looks great. The stitches in his head, all that. I love battle damage stuff, as you guys all know. So I love the tears in his outfit and the safety pins, the stitches in his hands, his shoes. And yes, he did not come with that stand. That is a stand that I built myself for him. Um, so if you guys want me to make, if you have uh, a trick or treat studio doll and would like a stand let me know i can build that for you very simple very easy um of course for a price but not a not a huge price because it doesn't really cost that much to make also i made that voodoo knife as well for him that's also handmade um because i really wanted to go for an authentic voodoo you know life like i wanted to wanted to make it like you know somebody just crudely made it so yeah you got that there um yeah I love this piece. And yes, he's holding the heart of Dimbala. Um, which if you're a Chucky fan, you know exactly what it is and you know what and you know what it does. So that's my Chucky. And I know, yes, you're probably wondering what happened to the good guy. Because I used to have a good guy up here along with him. I still have the good guy. He's just boxed up right now. Um, just wanted to make space for the uh, Predator and uh, Bill and Ted here. So there you go. Okay, for the final area in my office, here we are, right up top here, we have another custom case that's built by yours truly. And we have, that's right, one of my favorite figures that I obtained this year, Jack Sparrow, DX15, looking amazing. I just love this figure. Gotta give a shout out to uh, Dan and Dre, from six scale reviews um they did a review on this and it just looked amazing and when i saw it i was like you know what i gotta have this in the collection definitely um right over there um i think it's dx forget what d i think it's dx is it dx no not dx07 i forget which one it is but it was the other jack sparrow release um you see right back there i have the um i have the big um boat turning wheel um yeah i wanted it I really wanted that accessory to use with this figure, but I just, I don't use it. So I may be selling it. I really may be selling it. The base it comes with is amazing by itself. So I really don't need it. Also moving along, we have 
the uh, a recent release, a recent purchase of mine. Um, I think I just finished paying this uh, paying this one off. This is the Mech Test Tony. Um, I did a review on it um, a couple of weeks ago. Really like this figure. It is amazing and looks good. If you guys are on the fence about that one, I'm telling you, get it. It's a it's a good one, especially if you're a big MCU fan. Um, definitely want that one. Moving along. I kind of feel that people in the community kind of forgot about this figure. Uh, Django Fett, which was another great release that came out this year and just a simply amazing re release and just looks great in my opinion. I think they did an excellent job on the head sculpt and overall execution with this figure. Standing beside him, you got his, you got his, uh, you got his uh, son, Boba. And uh, that's, that is the Empire Strikes Back Boba. And I love it. It looks great. It looks awesome. Moving along, you got, I would say, two of my favorite figures um, that came out last year. Um, Rey and Kylo Ren. I really like these figures. Everybody knows I really didn't like the sequels that much. Really didn't. Really don't care for them that much. But, you know, I respect it. And I like it. If you like it, I love it. I love that you like it. Um, but I gotta say, these figures are amazing. They really look good. They really look good. I mean, the likeness. If I could try to get close, try to move in a little bit. Because where this cabinet is, is kind of angled, kind of weird. So forgive me. But uh, they look good. I really like those a lot. Then you got this guy down here. You got Grogu, life uh, life size one to one by Hot Toys. Personally, I think it looks way better than the Sideshow one. And I know a lot of people are like, no, they think the Sideshow one is better. But I mean, you know, just like I said, it depends on what you like. Me personally, I think this one looks way better. Um, I think this one looks cuter. I think the one and the Sideshow did. I thought it was fine. I still think it was cool, but he, you, you have to you have to set him low to appreciate him because he's looking up. This one is articulated. You can he can look anywhere. He can move his mouth. And I know that was a problem with a lot um, in the first batch that um the mouth the mouth was ripping at the chin or something like that. Um, I keep my mouth. <laughs> I keep the mouth on mine in this position just in case, you know, we have some ripping or tearing or anything like that. But for what it is, I think he looks good. I think he looks great. Okay, now moving on to the last detoff. Let me open, close that. And let me open this up right here. We got, that's right. You know who it is. We have the beautiful and the amazing Katie Sackoff as Bo-Katan. And I love this figure. I know a lot of people were talking about the figure not having double joints, um, the corners that Hot Toys have been cutting all this year. I get it. I get it. I understand it. But I under but I want you to know, I like this figure a lot. I think when, when, when you get this figure in hand, you'll really appreciate it because it looks good. It looks amazing. Once again, shout out to Katie Sackhoff. Just not only, you know, a cool actress or actor, but also just a cool person, just a real, very sweet, just, just one of the, if you ever get the chance to meet her, I'm telling you, she'll, she'll, she'll light up the room. She's just an amazing person, an amazing actor, and just, just awesome. But yeah, I love that figure. Love that figure a lot. Also right here, man, I'm gonna tell you, I was not expecting to get this figure. And then I saw my guy Kiko do this pose and put it on his timeline and I was like I must have this figure not only because of that but I know when when Fennec comes out I'm going to want this figure to be posed up with Fennec so it was a no-brainer to get it in my collection I love it love how it looks he's amazing one of the best that came out this year he's definitely on my top 10 he's definitely on my top 10 list for this year and last but not least want to give a shout out to my guy my brother my brother my bro anthony from six scale mafia for holding me down 
and getting me these X06 Star Trek figures. There we got Spock and uh, Sulu from the Mirrorverse. And these things look amazing. Let's get close up on them. Look at that. Once again, guys, I'm sorry for all the wires in the background. <sighs> I know they look, I know they look, I know they look shitty, but I'm working on that. Look at Sulu. Just look at that. Look at that. These figures are amazing, y'all. Telling you, if you're on the fence, if you're on the fence about X06 and Star Trek, let me tell you something. I'm not the biggest Star Trek fan at all. But I know quality when I see it. I know good stuff when I see it. So I had to jump on. I had to jump on these. And they look awesome. They look awesome. It's going to be more of these to come. But that's it for uh, this side of the room. Let's uh, go into the other room. Hey, guys. Here we are in the lobby area of the basement. Um, this is the room I pretty much play video games and all that stuff in and of course do music and all that other good stuff um yeah so let's look at the high toys first up you know i had to go to this you guys know i had to go to this right here yes this is the jazz inc falcon cockpit which i love and of course this case was created by yours truly once again and for all of you that don't know about this piece, it's two dioramas. And you have the back, the back port right there where you got uh, C-3PO back there hanging out. And yes, I put a mirror back there just so you can see that. And then you have the crew here. Of course, you got the Han and Chewie two-pack, the legendary Han and Chewie two-pack. You also got that farm boy Luke right there. And of course, you got old Ben Obi-Wan Kenobi. Just look at that. I really love this piece. This is probably my favorite diorama slash vehicle in my collection. I just think Hot, uh, oh my God, Jazz Inc. <laughs> did a great job with this. Overall, I think it looks great. It's not perfect, but it is amazing and there it is you get the plaque down there signed by yost and his dad custom built for yours truly looks great looks great i like looking at it from all these different angles look at that <sighs> such a great piece such a great piece now we're going to move on to my maji case or my homemade Maji case. Yes, I used the recipe. I used Costa's recipe. Also took some tips from uh, Anthony, Six Scale Mafia. He uh, actually had these for a long time. He did his cases a long time ago. Nobody just noticed. <laughs> but to be honest, I gotta give credit where credit's due. I gave, um, I used a lot of uh, Costa's recipe for this. And I did my own modifications as well right now and yes i do have the acrylic on the sides right there the other acrylic uh uh sheet uh the, the acrylic uh frames are are magnetically attached i pulled them off just for the sake of the video there they are let's go in and look at the figures as you can see that is 1989 batman love this figure love this figure also want to give a big shout out to carlos <laughs> crazy ass carlos he actually just shipped me this cape one day he was like hey don't you have 89 batman i was like yeah he was like give me your address i was like okay it's like i don't know about i don't know you dude give me your address and a couple of days later here was this cape and i was like dude thank you so much so don't let carlos fool you don't let him fool you you be thinking like oh man he's an ass but he's really a good guy really a good guy once again shout out to him for that cape because the other one that came with it looks like a damn trash bag <laughs> anyway here's the uh 89 batmobile by high toys with guns a blazing looking cool as hell 
I know Yost threw some shade at Hot Toys on this, saying it was plasticky and inaccurate, but it looked good. It looked good in my opinion. Then also, of course, you got the 89 Nicholson Joker right there. And that's the actual Hot Toys 89 Nicholson Joker. Not the other one that came out. No problems with anybody that, you know, got the uh the uh the third party version, but uh I had this one for a while and this one is probably my second most favorite figure in my collection beloved gotta love that top shelf all the nostalgia now i think yeah all these figures were purchased this year i kind of went crazy with dc this year and you know currently if you're watching this uh gilga dot just I don't know if she's being removed from being cat uh cat jesus removed from being wonder woman or but i know they're not doing a wonder a third wonder woman movie right now at this point hopefully in the future that will change but uh that's what's going on currently so this makes this figure even more appealing to me because we may not get to see her as wonder woman again love this figure i was on the fence of getting this figure for a long time and then I saw the deals and I was like, you know what? I'm pulling the trigger on this. I'm getting it. And it looks good. I think it looks great. Moving on to the classics right here. Yes. One of my grail upon grails. Y'all know I do good morning grails. And this year was just a big, it was, it was all about the grails this year for me. All about the grails. And this figure right here takes the cake. Wanted this figure for years. Finally was able to obtain it just love this figure amazing figure christopher reeve superman <sighs> gotta have it in your collection also you got batman 1966 batman and robin burt ward adam west phenomenal then you got this right here one of the best figures that came out this year as well dx19 batman from the Dark Knight Rises. Looks amazing. Love this piece. Also love that back pod. It is a little tad flimsy. I'm not gonna lie. It's a tad flimsy. But um it gets the job done. It really gets the job done. It really does. Coming over right here to these three. Another great release that came out this year. The Batman and Superman, uh, the Midnight, <laughs> or is it the, the uh, yeah, Nightmare version, I said Midnight, the Nightmare version of Batman and Superman, wonderful two-pack, and another grill that I was so happy to get, shout out to Bits and Buttons, I got them this summer while I was on vacation uh, at a con in Raleigh, love this Harley Quinn, this is definitely the Harley Quinn to have. Just look at that likeness. Zoom in. Look at that likeness to Margot Robbie. Phenomenal. Looks amazing. And last but not least, ladies and gentlemen, ugh, it's not all about hot toys with me. Y'all also know I do a show with the great local Lou every Saturday morning. Half Shell Saturdays. Check us out. And here is my NECA TMNT collection love these let's go in for a closer look as you can see right here we have everything from the first movie we got Slutter, Strutter and the Foot Clan back there we also got Hiroko Saki and Hamato Yoshi the humanoid versions we got if I can get a little closer ugh. come on focus we got the amazing Judith Hogue, another great per another great person I met back in the summer. Met her twice. She was amazing both times. She was actually even more amazing the second time. She's great. I mean, she is so cool. I mean, she's just cool. Love that lady. Love that lady. All right, you got Danny back there from the Loot Crate. He is completely undersized. You got Splinter back there. You got Casey with his mask off, rapping the April back there, the farm set. <laughs> you got Casey. With the mask on, you got Raph in disguise. Then right up front, of course, 
you have the turtles. Let's try to get. Let's try to get. So you can actually see those sculpts. Tell you something. These figures are amazing. These are amazing. For seven inch figures. I think these are the. I mean, I'm telling you. Nobody can touch NECA when it comes to making turtles. Seriously. They are, are amazing. Moving it like move it along. These are newly acquired. Got these about a week ago. In the back, you got Toka and Razor. <laughs> Toka looks funny as hell. You got Razor looking at his hand, looking down at his hand with the num num. Then you got Secret of the Ooze Turtles right here. You got Donnie. And you see how weird they look. They look weird. They do look weird, but that's how, but they look weird and cool at the same time. They look so weird. They look so different compared to the others, but they look so cool. They look so cool. I think the favorite, my favorite head sculpt is uh, Donnie for some reason. He, he always looked the weirdest to me, but they look awesome. Love this set. Love them a lot. Now we move over to the animated series and I'll be honest with you. I don't buy a lot of these animated figures and this is what you see here is what you're going to get. This is where I stop because it's just too much. You got animated Bebop and Rocksteady right there along with Shredder. You got Chrome Dome in the back. Of course you got, <laughs> for some reason I always loved the way uh, the Android Crane looked. He just looks so goofy and silly. Just loved it. Then you got the turtles about to fight Crane there. Michelangelo, Donnie, Raph, Leo. Then you got Splinter right there. You got Mondo Gecko right there. And his little turtle friend, which I can't remember. Baxter Stockman. And my personal favorite, Yosagi Yojimbo. And last but not least, you have the channel, the channel six crew with April O'Neil, channel six crew with April O'Neil, Vernon, Irma, and I can't remember what the boss name is. And of course you got a Foot Clan, and then you got April as a mutated cat. Love these things. They look great. They look great. So guys, that is pretty much the end of my collection tour. Remember to like, share, subscribe, bang that bell for notifications and all that good stuff. I'll see you on the next one. Peace. And we are out.